it is time to fix the course error permanently and get the data or save the data to the API. Now to fix the course error, we have to make some changes in this API project. And here we are having this program.cs class. Here we can write some code. So we are having this builder. So basically we have to first inject a course logic over here. And this is something that we can write. So we are telling this builder to add one course policy and we are using the default one. And here in this policy, we are telling this application that you can allow any kind of header, allow any kind of origin and allow any kind of method. And you can also filter them based on your need. If you want to just allow any specific URL, then you can update all those things over here. And also if you want to allow any origin, but you want to allow only get methods or the post method, then you can define all those settings over here. And this is basically the logic from the ASP.NET Core. Now we have to use it in the middlewares. So here we are having this app. Let's use this app dot use course. This one. That's it. This is the only code that is required to handle this course issue cool now let's run this application and remember this course issue is not because of the angular application it is something that is coming either from browser or the application now what will happen this api is running and here you will see that this course tab is off we are not using this extension now and let's open one more window of this chrome cool and here let's use the localhost port 4200 and here also we have disabled this course tab you will see that it is not enabled and if i click on this all books you will see we are getting the data over here without using this course extension okay let's see what we have in the network tab also so just right click and choose this inspect go to the network tab over here this is the network tab and just refresh this page again you will see we are getting the data here also to view the details you can just click on this one click on this response preview and everything is working fine fantastic now we have to test the add book api and let's click on this form and just fill it again so this is the default let's say i'm writing from form and here again i'm just filling the data let's add one more author over here so here i'm writing choose a date let's say the date is this 26 this one this api project is already running and let's click on this save button and just to verify the changes let's click on this all books and this time you will see we are having three books over here although we are not having the loader while saving or getting the data but everything is working fine here you will see we are having the data from our form and if you want to verify the changes in the database then you can go to this particular database and this is the book model just right click on this one and use this top thousand rows and here you will see that we are having three rows so these two are inserted from the swagger and this third one we have inserted it from the form this is how you can work with the post api in angular application and also just handle your course problem from the asp.net core web api project